Welcome back here on your Tuesday evening. Again, I mentioned a couple of hazards headed our way, the first of which actually starts tonight. There will be the potential of fog moving in overnight, especially in the east and northeast parts of the viewing area. 23, 20 and 29 in your first forecast. We do have cooler temps that are moving in, so we kind of peaked today, which it was really comfortable outside today, at least for early January. But cooler temps coming in, and the pattern is going to try to turn a little more active. We do have a couple of chances of snow on the way, one moving in Friday, another one that moves in on Monday. Let's start with the Friday potential. Overnight Thursday to Friday, we have some snow that looks to move into the central plains. Right now, the heaviest snow potential is down across central Kansas. We look to be just kind of on the northern fringe of this system. So we're kind of targeting areas south of the interstate and probably uh, Highway 6 southward for just some light snow. This looks to be pretty minimal. This low is going to be kind of weakening as it's moving through the central plains. And again, taking kind of a southerly path, which should keep the heaviest of the precipitation down to our south. Now, as we get Sunday night into Monday, this one's got a little more potential to it, but also still a lot of questions being nearly a week away. But right now we're looking for what could be a band of accumulating snowfall setting up especially central into eastern Nebraska for the start of next week. So that's something that we will be monitoring pretty closely as we go into uh, the next several days. Uh, but right now we're going to focus on that first one there Friday, which does look to be pretty minimal. Looking over Hastings with our NTV VR wireless camera network, it is a gorgeous sunset out there on what was a beautiful January day. It's still 38 degrees. Hastings is at 37, but 38 Grand Island and Kearney. Again, all the sunshine, the winds haven't been an issue today. It was a good one. Elsewhere across the state, most of us sitting upper 30s to right about uh, 40 degrees, right at 40 in Lexington, still 42 in McCook. Lincoln's at 36. O'Neill, one of the colder spots, setting at around 29. You look at the winds, they haven't really been all that strong today, coming in primarily out of the north northwest at around 5 to 10. We'll take a quick look. Kind of across the nation, they've got some pretty good moisture moving in uh, through southern central Texas. Uh, some good rains there. Elsewhere, if you look out west, hey, look along the west coast, you notice another system moving on shore. That's part of our system for Thursday into Friday that could bring us a little bit of moisture. Now, as we head into tonight, we're going to have to watch for these low clouds and fog that are going to try to build in from the northeast. And really, areas east and northeast of the Tri-Cities will have the best chance of these low clouds and this fog building in. I think Wednesday night to Thursday is actually going to be much more potential for the low clouds and the fog here in central and western areas before that next system moves in late Thursday night to Friday and tries to bring us a little bit of moisture. Tri-City forecast around 20 tonight. Best chance of fog off to the east and northeast. Get up to around 35 tomorrow, so we cool down just a little bit, but... It's also very average, and like I said, I think fog potential tomorrow night uh, could be a little higher with a low of around 22. Across the state, northern Kansas, upper teens and low 20s expected tonight with high temps tomorrow. Again, for most of us, not bad, mid-30s, uh, low 40s in the southwest. And as you look at that seven-day forecast, so round one tries to move in Friday with some light snow in the south. More potential there on Monday. We'll be keeping an eye on that, and it's also going to knock those temps down into the 20s, almost mm. feeling like winter. How almost. Dare How dare yeah. it. Uh. Let's talk again about that fog can be really bad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and again, I think tonight, especially east, northeast areas, I think Wednesday night to Thursday, we've got more potential here in central areas. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be cold, so that means bridges and overpasses could get a little mm -hmm. slick. Yeah. We really got to keep an eye on it. Thank All you right. so much.